Isn't it wonderful that some historian thought it worthy to dedicate a week that later became a month to celebrate the history of the African-American men and women in this country? As I realized to have that type of tenacity, to have that type of sternity, to have that type of mindset, to go beyond and above what fear may try to take over, there has to be something on the inside, working on the outside. I want to bring up and give a proclamation to our council president, Joyce Waterman. She has now been the council president for eight years almost, for two terms. Um, maybe one of the longest serving council presidents, certainly the longest serving African American council president we have ever had, and certainly the longest serving uh, council president for a woman. So a, a lot of ceilings are being broken by Council President Joyce Waterman, and we are lucky to have her. Black people is like we always got to tiptoe because we're different. And I did not want to tiptoe in an office that people voted me in. Celebrate the accomplishments, our contributions, and not only that, what this does, it makes us aware the more what we have contributed to this country. The first woman who even got elected to Congress was Shirley Chisholm. I don't know if we really realized what she was walking into during that time. See, we're in 2024 now and things are a little different, but back then I could imagine what they called her, what they said about her. But she knew her purpose was bigger than the personal. And so I know I'm standing on her shoulders and those that went on before her that inspired her that whatever your dream is, you have a right to go for it.